Uganda's history within the public construction sector has been characterized with high levels of corruption, syndicate and kickbacks, project delays, scope changes, inflated costs with no value for money, lack of trust and limited citizen participation. People are not so much aware of the information of these infrastructures. We even, first of all, cannot predict which road they are going to work on, which time, when, who is working on it. Uganda committed to disclose project and contract information using the infrastructure data standard to enhance transparency, accountability and stakeholder participation in the delivery of infrastructure projects in 2014 when the Uganda National Roads Authority UNRWA applied on behalf of government to Coast International to provide infrastructure transparency. We appreciate cost because uh, when cost came in, it was adding value. It is adding value to what we are doing and uh, also linking, making the public even gain more confidence in what we are doing. Cost establishes national programs that are managed by the multi-stakeholder groups, a champion and a secretariat. Across the globe, Coast has an international board and an international secretariat based in London. The initiative is highly known for promoting transparency in public infrastructure. Coast Small Stakeholder Working Arrangement builds trust and sensitizes the public on access to information. We need an organisation who is registered as a legal entity um, to provide National Secretary support staff um, to be able to use, uh, manage grant funding, etc. Et the cost scoping study of 2017 revealed a gap in the legal framework. Only 12 of the 40 proactively disclosable data points in the infrastructure data standard are legally recognized, but even of the 12, only 20% is disclosed. Information is very, very important to help people, first of all, to know what government is doing, but also to participate in ensuring that the project um, that is put on the ground reflects what is really on the, uh, in the contract. Cost is not fault finding and neither a duplication of what exists, but it identifies measures that can be used to correct procedure. What we want is transparency and value for money. The moment these things are done transparently, people get to know what is being done for them. There are generally the growing, the appreciation will be growing up and people will appreciate what you do. Coast comes to Uganda with experiences from other countries to create impact and take Uganda's experience to other countries. I was also very impressed to hear that many of you were willing to sacrifice pieces of land in order to give the road its required. Information is disclosed at all levels of the project life cycle using the infrastructure data standard. Cost can work with the procuring entity to take the official data and turn it into information that could be used to develop re recommendations that will improve performance. The cost assurance process provides evidence on the challenges within the individual projects and proposes possible remedies to address them. Uh, we have been having problems accessing the data from the, uh, from the designs and uh, how much is needed, what is supposed to be done, we have been getting problems. But with cost around, they, we now get the information very readily. This evidence can inform cost savings, contract reviews, citizen participation, policy reviews, development of disclosure frameworks and portals, and most importantly, an appreciation of government's work and value for money. So by residents who are going to benefit from this project, knowing what is expected of this uh, project, then they can help on behalf of government to supervise and make sure that the contractor does the right thing. Cost supported the alignment of the KCCS user platform for disclosure to the IDS and more projects have been disclosed on the project in the last one year. Yeah, we have a series of projects that are going on. You see from start to nothing, right now Charles and team have gone to this one which is under batch 2 from MN 
going through to Hajjabs. Wakiso District Local Government has almost enjoyed the lion's share, having embraced COST fully. COST supported the district to comply with the legal framework on procurement and implementation on the 10.2 km Namasuba Ndeje Chitiko Road in Makindye Sabagabo Municipality. The community was engaged about the project and, in turn, offered land without compensation. If we had suffered the initial setback of people rejecting this project, it would be very disastrous for Wakiso. Coast International, I want to assure you that the principles you have brought to us of transparency, accountability and participation are principles that we ought to have included in our projects. Sometimes it is merrymaking and appreciation when the procurement entities have taken action on cost recommendations. We've been able to uh, um, achieve uh, significantly on the issue of quality assurance. Cost is about you and me coming together to find means of bettering our infrastructure. When you don't know something, ask and government should be willing to respond. A better infrastructure is everyone's pride. Why then not take action now? Better lives from better infrastructure.